everyone. Today I'm working on this engine and it's lettered for Canadian National already. So that is good stuff. This is a Kado, um, Heavy Mikado 282. I picked this up from a collector. It's already in really good shape. Uh, I am going to clean the tender wheels though. And there's a couple of little parts uh, out of place, so I'm going to be working on that too. So I'll start by unboxing it. These used to come with detail parts uh, that you could apply separately. There's the coupler for the front there, a couple of extra parts. Take a look at the engine there. Now, uh, I read up quite a bit on steam engines and uh, there's a lot to them you have to remember in the 20s and 30s these were the fastest machines uh, in the world so there's a lot of uh, little parts and technology and uh, i'm going to remove this slowly from the box because it's a good engine it's a really good engine to get the only flaw they had was um, they didn't have quite enough traction. They can't pull that many cars. So Kado made a replacement part for the number four driver so you could get a little bit more traction and pull more cars. So this little guy, it's missing a couple of parts here. It's missing, first of all, the bell. That's a little bit obvious. It's got the classification classification lights that's good and it's missing one of these one of these pins that go from the boiler to the pilot so I'll be changing that too the rest of the valve gear there's your whistle there I'm missing the pop valves missing the pop valves the whistles there everything else looks pretty good so I'll be spending uh, most of my time on the tender here and I'll also uh, find a bell. I'll borrow a bell from another engine. Actually, I'm going to start with uh, this 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 um, wire that connects the boiler to the pilot beam. So in order to make that, I always keep a um, tie wrap like this around. And all I do is I remove uh, some of the insulation. I get these, you can get these with, gar with garbage bags. I get them from my dry cleaner. Um, there, it's not really hard to find that. If you prefer, if you don't want to use this, you could use maybe um, a little piece of, uh, of wire. Works just as well. And then all I have to do is bend it into shape. There's only two bends on this. It's basically straight. The first band goes into the boiler, like this, go into the boiler, and then the second band goes into the pilot. So I'm going to measure this carefully uh, before I, I bend it, and the other band just goes into the pilot. So I'm going to do this off camera. I'm also going to detach the tender. This will make it easier for me to get in there and do what I have to do. So it's very easy, just one screw. And the truck comes out with uh, the drawbar. And then as you can see, there's two wires going to the drawbar. So these two come out uh, pretty easily. And that's it. So I just wanted to show it to you uh, once it's in place. I'm just gonna glue it with some uh, crazy glue and then I'll paint it black. So I borrowed the bell from a uh, 464 it's an actual brass part, so it's very nice. And these, they fit in 
without uh, without any glue so just like I did I was able to get back in there and uh, take it back out it has two little holes in there and it fits right in without glue obviously uh, end scale you're gonna need patience and I don't think I want to drop this on my floor because uh, it's small and it's going to be tough to find it and then that's it I'm going to do uh, just some painting and then we'll be ready to work on the tender so now I'm working on my tender I'm going to do a one wheel at a time this little guy picks up electricity from both uh, both sides at once So that can definitely help. So I just cleaned the wheels like this. They don't look uh, too dirty, but uh, since I have everything in my hands, uh, it's a good time to do it. You would have to clean your wheels maybe once a year, depending on how much you run your engines. I end up uh, not, not running my engines very much actually. Always check in your bearing caps to make sure that uh, everything is uh, is clean in there too. Sometimes you can get hair in there, so it's a good idea to look at it before uh, before you put everything back together. Now that most people that own these take really good care of them because uh, it's a valuable engine and also a great runner. So uh, that's an extra incentive to keep it in top shape. So that is the front truck. I'm going to go work uh, on the back one. I have a bunch of micro trains. I could put one in there, but I think I'm going to leave it with the Rapido. Uh, all my sea and freight cars have uh, micro trains now, so um, I actually would be smart to do it. But I'm thinking that I like this engine to remain as factory fresh as possible. Um, that is my own stuff. I mean, I used to buy my trains new, so I wanted them to look old. I would do a lot of weathering. Now, because uh, I buy my trains used, I want them to be, uh, to look new. So, um, so I'll keep this, uh, this Rapido coupler on, the factory Cado. That is the good stuff. Oh, you see there's hair in there. Look at that, hair. So that definitely uh, keeps your engine from running. So like I say, you should do that maybe once a year, maybe more if you feel uh, that the engine is stalling on you. Definitely worth your time. Now, the engine, I won't put it under my tap with some uh, water and some soap, simply because um, getting the shell off, you know, I've never done it. I never took it apart. I have a couple of these and they all run really well. It's something to, to look at. Here, I don't know if you can see, but there is contact strips under there to take the electricity from the front to the back. So um, I'm going to, uh, to run the, the tender shell though under my tap with my toothbrush and some soap and water to get the dust off. And the coal was meant to be shiny. Yeah, what a beautiful part. So I'm going to let this dry before I put it back together. Remember as you put your tender back on, that the two little wires from the drawbar must contact the two uh, electrical pickup. So then I'm going to put the tender back on. Now I just have to tighten that one last little screw. There. 
Now I'm gonna test it uh, on the bench to make sure my valve gear, uh, everything's working well. It looks pretty good, actually. I don't think there's any problems with it, but I would prefer to find out now, now that all my tools are out. So I always have my test leads around. So I'm just going to test it with my two test leads. Just to make sure the valve gear has got no problems. Beautiful. That's exactly what I like to hear. So we're almost ready to go. Now remember that when these are packaged to you, you have a bunch of little details to put on, uh, including the bell. So when you put it back in its box, you have to make a notch here for the bell. Otherwise, it will not uh, fit back in there and you'll end up uh, ripping the bell out. So that's very important. Well, now it looks pretty good. And now it's time to run some trains. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly had fun making it for you. See you soon.